So we did have a request for a little bit of a tour of Rosen in Orlando. I thought it would be quite useful. So we're going to start at our room and work our way to the front. So play this video backwards and it'll probably make more sense. <laughs> yeah. There's our car over there. Fantastic, they parked by you there. Nice sunset going on. <laughs> we got the nice sunset in the back. So we are in Block B, which is overlooking International Drive. I4? Sorry, I4, of course. International Drive is on the other side and we're going to go this way. We're going to have a little explore. Why are we going this way? Because we're having an explore of the uh, resort. Oh, okay. So Rosen Hotels are motel style, which means your door faces out onto the path and onto the car park here, uh, the pool on the other side. Lots of parking. Although apparently the parking can get a little busier when there are events on, which I don't think there are at the minute. The, the Orange County Convention Centre is further south on iDrive. And all the rooms have got aircon, all feeding out into the street. Shall we? It's quite alright. And stairs to other rooms here. There are lifts at the other end, but not here. And I believe, yeah, the, if we come out here, there's a play area. Pools the yeah, and there are pools around here as well. There's a little video game arcade room there. And we have a light bite area here. We we'll go up that way. No, it's not. It's quite. Uh, sun's going down quite early. Uh, this is the pool that's nearest to our block mm -hmm. and if you watched our videos in the past we stayed at the top of the building up there uh, we're just around the corner there so we've just come along this back of the building this is one of the pools the pools are really simple no frills pools but they're uh, they're nice pools yeah yeah you can get towels and things and if it's raining you can get to reception because there's all shelters here <laughs> Sorry? Yes, there's only a little pool. And here we are at reception. Shirts and shoes are required, Gemma, so make sure you've got your shirt on. You've got the hotel restaurant there. We aren't eating in that one at this point. And we have the store, the coffee shop, and things there. And that's also where you can get some Mickey trinkets and so on. And a couple of ATMs. Okay, Gemma's just going to sort out our transport for tomorrow. But we have the Zebra Sports and Grill Bar and I think we will go over there at some point. And light bite on the reception is there. Yeah, business centre is there. You can leave your luggage there and things like that. And some workstations, meeting rooms, restrooms, and the light bike shop. What goodies should we buy? Wow! Frozen jelly belly. Break your teeth on it. Look, look the room. It's the ice plum mix. So oh, now I see. We got Oreos by the bucket load. See, oh. like Licorice bridge mix jelly belly. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Little Little free snacks. Awesome. Chocolate ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, they're expensive, aren't they? Yeah. But they're expensive. Get some beef jerky. Yeah. Oh look at those drinks. <laughs> Mickey drink. Could I got a sandwich from here? Get some beers here. Let's compare prices between between here and Disney. That's a big kind of and Corona is three dollars. Yeah, I'm going to drink Foster's here. How much is the Bud Light in price on it? Yeah, they didn't seem to have prices on them. Mm. Maybe they're individually priced. Corona at $3. Mm -hmm. That's all mine. Soft drinks. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Always useful if you're a vlogger. Last minute purchases. Not sure if the prices are to my taste, but there we go. No, I mean for the battery stuff and things like that. 
pig rolls. Mm. Some uh, medical stuff there as well. Mm-hmm. Useful. So we're going to take a walk out the front and show you where our drive is now. I did. After you. And here is the lobby area that you pull up with your car when you first arrive. So if you, turn, if you pull up, you can park here, do your check-in, and then Gemma's, Gemma's leading us on a wild merry chase here. And then when, when you've done your check-in, they'll give you a uh, just a ticket to stick in your window, and this guy will let you through here, and you can just park around the back. So all of the, the only cars that can park here are guests. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Outside for zebras. Got some TVs up there as well. The football is down the road. So. Yeah, and International Drive's literally there. So you've got the new ice <laughs> fly, the ice bar, mm -hmm. Miller's Ale House. It's where we were last night. And then as you go further down, you've got yeah. Point Orlando's a little bit behind us with Wonderworks yeah. and that. And the, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sort of come out here from the air building and just nip across the road straight onto I Drive rather than going through the. Uh, Lobby and reception area. Do. And there's an I ride trolley going up. So they stop literally just here. There's a stop just there, number 18, so you can get the bus to SeaWorld. There's a Kia Soul. <laughs> and it goes to the um, premium outlet. Yes. Or so. um, either end. Yeah, so if you go, if you cross the road, you can go north. It doesn't go to Universal Studios, it drops you off a little way from the. But the hotel itself has a free shuttle. Yes. Universal, which I just booked Yeah, so half nine tomorrow we'll be able to get the shuttle from here to Universal Studios and then there are multiple returns from there to here as well. Or we could just grab a cab if we prefer. Yeah. Well, it's on the bus stop, isn't it? Mm hmm And now we walk back up to our room. You can make requests for rooms and they will try and accommodate you, but we specifically wanted rooms quite close to each other. So as a result, we ended up with these rooms at the back, which are probably not what we'd normally prefer to choose. They're a little noisier. To be fair, I didn't hear any traffic on tonight. No, what I heard... there's a lizard down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there wasn't many people walking past around here. No. Oh. <laughs> and another lizard. <laughs> Get some native wildlife knocking around here. We once saw a giant Katie did here. Which are awesome to see. Like they have them in zoos in the UK. Yeah. Uh, here's the lifts. Yeah, Sorry, that's not the lifts. The lifts are here. So you can get lifts up to the upper floors, and the A building also has one at the other end. But we don't need a lift because our room is just here at 11:35. There we go, quick tour of the hotel. Uh, as I said, there are more buildings further that way. We haven't really been over there because we, we weren't staying there. That door's a little bit stiff, by the way. <laughs> the handbook comes down. Yeah. And here we are in our room. And now we're in the room, we might as well do a bit of a tour, proper tour as well. So we have an air conditioning unit that we're not actually using at the minute because the room temperature in January is probably just about right. Although I do notice that the maid has turned the fan off. So I'll have to turn that back on. I like the drone of the fan to keep me asleep at night. You get a nice little chair there to sit on. Two queen size beds. Um, there's not a real room underneath for these for storing of suitcases or anything. There's a couple of sockets down there by this one. A couple of the lights also have sockets in them so I'm using this one here with a UK adapter on and a four gang on there with all my gubbins and stuff to charge with. Uh, we have a little desk and chair there with my trousers on. <laughs> Uh, we have four big chest, four big drawers in the chest of drawers unit there, two big shelves. We have the TV, big wardrobe, in which you can hang lots of clothes. More, more space in here than there is hangers, so if you want to hang a lot of stuff it might be worth bringing a few. We have ironing board and iron here, something we never use. <laughs> uh, moving back over to Gemma, we have... 
this bedside cabinet with your big surf and this surf's really deep as well it goes quite far back so it's not like a Disney surf it's just like quite shallow uh, lamps again I've got sockets in them these are new this year we have an alarm clock here with two USB ports the time drawing on this one at the minute and two US charging sorry, sorry US regular plugs on there phone down to reception should we wish to bathroom area not much to say in here we have a sink microwave Mr. Coffee this, did I just point at the fridge and say we have a sink we have a sink um, and it through here bath obviously everything is as normal in here bath's quite modern and new in this one so it's nice oh and the most important thing for Gemma is one hair dryer so quick tour of the hotel followed by a quick tour of the room and there you go we're quite happy with this room this year it's uh, very modern looking isn't it nice and clean Nice and clean uh, new bathroom in there as well. Yeah. Nice, nice modern, uh, nice clean carpet. Which in the previous trip in Rosen, we I said the carpet was a bit grotty looking. And then you spilled fancho all over. But then I spilled fancho all over it. This carpet's cleaner than the one in Port Orleans Riverside. Admittedly, they are now removing the carpet. Yeah, they put another one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, no complaints. We are at Disney Springs and we've parked at the Orange Garage this time for a change. I think the last trip it was Lime Garage all the way. That brings us into the entertainment side rather than the shopping side. We've got Splitsville to the left, Bongo's ahead, and Cinema to the right here. After all the blooming fun we had trying to ride that thing last year, it's running today. Of course the weather's much calmer. Can Gemma resist the lore of Disney style? Looks like she is doing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> You're not going in, Gem? Really? <laughs> oh, no, I feel bad. Wow, it's even busy here midweek now. I don't know why I'm entirely surprised by that. There's the ganachery. I like saying that word. Heading up past Morimoto and the Irish pub. We got about half an hour before our reservation actually, so we got here in pretty good time. Jerry has been lured in by the uh, sounds of the Irish band playing. Looking nice here tonight. Weather is just perfect. I've got a pair of jeans on and a t-shirt and I'm actually quite warm in the jeans. Gemma's very happy because even Disney Springs still has its Christmas tree up. It's nice, it's almost like they left them up for you, isn't it? I know. There'll be lots more things to see next year as well, all the parks as well. So. Oh, yeah? I'm liking the opportunity here to, for, for the gentleman to enjoy a beverage, an alcoholic beverage maybe, while, uh, while uh, a female in his life then goes shopping. <laughs> Or in our case, both of us just sit and drink. Oh look, it's Chicken Guy. Guy Fieri's Chicken Scent Shack, which apparently the chicken's really nice. Maybe we'll check it out. Maybe on the next trip, we'll see. Tonight we're having chicken anywhere, so we don't really need to buy anything now. Oh, and Wolfgang Cook, this was under construction last time we were here. And now it's finished and open. We've gone around in a big loop. <laughs> But now we're going to go this way instead. We're basically um, spiralling round homecoming and we'll just gradually get to it. And we're at Chef at uh, Smith's and Blaze Pizza's just over there. But we're heading this way. The Forbidden Lounge. Oh yeah. It's nice just to have hints of Christmas left. Although I think as the week goes on, there'll be less and less, yeah. Bit of a theme for everyone who ordered food. We all ordered homecoming chicken. So we are going to look into this now. Because this was a favourite meal from our last trip. Did you enjoy that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. Yeah, didn't even... 
Couldn't get anywhere near a dessert this time. That was fantastic, again. Really good service. And really quick as well. We're not rushed. <laughs> yeah, the food was out in like five minutes. So we are going to... Chicken's repeating on me. We are going to have um, little Wonder Ride some shops now. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to go and check out World of Disney? Yeah, you will. Yeah. And then we'll head back and have a drink. I always seem to wander past just as uh, Rainforest Cafe explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those the hot nachos. Yep. <laughs> we got a Lego store over here as well. Temptation. We've got some new figures outside as well. I mean this one's pretty good, but this one over here is awesome. How good is that? Somewhat unsurprisingly we ended up having a look. I really like the new modular, I must admit. And I like that one as well. And obviously I like that one. <laughs> It's a little hard to show it without filming other people's children, but they've actually built a white version of the Walt Disney World castle there. It's really cool. And we have not been in here since it's been done up. Lots of 2019 stuff here. We might be able to get this cheaper on our next trip. <laughs> I can't believe you're looking at more mugs. It is. But we've got no mug space left. Look at the presents. <laughs> Okay, let's find a t-shirt she wants. Also, Unfortunately, it's children's sizes also only. Oh. <laughs> Lots of nice t-shirts. We like this one. We like this one. We quite like that one. And we really like that Walt Disney one or World one over there. Oh, and we like that one too. Not sure because Gemma doesn't like backpacks, but she did run over and hug it. I have to say, of all the ones that everyone was mad about, they're the nicest looking ones so far. Mainly because I like purple. I've got the dots ones that Gemma says are also new as well. Science and princesses. You like those ones? Oh, they're cute. Can't see you in baby pink though. Well, I'll probably buy this myself. Oh, okay. The Buzz Lightyear ones. The up ones are quite new, aren't they? Those are awesome. The slinky dog ones. Yep, cut that. Now let's look tall ears. They're awesome. And some wilderness explorer ears. Lots of new Star Wars stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, I like that purple. Gem's not a fan of this. Yeah. I don't like the dots because they'll just make me look fat. I think <laughs> I think the white material is not a good choice. It oh, won't look clean for very long in our house with cat fur too. and food on it. Yeah. Beer. We there have a stretching room bag that you can zip together and make it smaller. So it's small and then. I bet that's a pain to do it. <laughs> yeah. And we like this one as well. But there's not really much room in there for anything. No. What about this one? <laughs> mm. I don't know what the uh, the general consensus on New World of Disney is, but we thought it was really good. It's much yeah. more spacious. Yeah. It, it just seems more, it seems bigger, even though it's not yeah. bigger. There's a lot more room. There's still a lot of stuff in there. And loads of really new, nice new t-shirts. Yeah, I like the way it's set out now, so it's easier to find things. We didn't spend a penny. Not yet. Not yet. We've got plenty of days left and another trip this year. Yes. Yeah. So, so what money we save from this trip's the next There's nothing that jumps out and says, buy me, buy me. Well, it's definitely the most time on our side. Gemma's once again looking at these dresses in co-op marketplace. It's all right then, is she? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Very nice. Dogs of Disney dress. Handbag to go with it. What have you found? A villain's dress. Very nice. 
I think Gemma's planning to get married again because she's planning this as a new wedding dress. Not with it, not married again, but we knew we were about us. I thought you were just going to marry someone else. <laughs> not sure about these big eye things. You kind of look like Disney princesses, the heroine years. That is very cool. Loads, loads of hidden detail in there. And the fantastic artwork. I do like this shirt as well. Gemma likes this print. There's some pop up cards here with uh, Star Wars characters, and there's animals, and even Beatles stuff over there. The cats may need new balls. <laughs> Not for $20 each. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Heading back towards the uh, car now. We still haven't spent a penny on anything shopping wise. We're doing well this, this trip. Or oh, badly, depending on your outlook. She looks a bit scared from this point. At least you can just put them back in again. Yeah. Gemma couldn't resist the second time pass. There we are. You about that one? <laughs> yeah.